Renowned pianist Solomon Mikovsky was in Shanghai to impart his knowledge to young Chinese students. I had the chance to sit down with him and learn about his musical journey. Solomon Mikovsky was born in Cuba of Russian-Polish descent. He started learning to play the piano at the age of seven. Mikovsky was later granted scholarships by the Cuban government and the Juilliard School to study in New York. He has been honored with the Sintas Prize by the Institute of International Education and the Presidential Medal by the Manhattan School of Music, where he teaches now. Dr. Mikovsky, welcome to Shanghai and thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure. Your trip to Shanghai this time gives the Chinese uh, piano students a chance to be in your master classes. What do you see in Chinese piano students? Chinese are very expressive. They, they have a heart. So with regard to what I find in China, I find many good things, but I find other things that I don't like, and I am very open about it, and it has to do with the uh, emphasis on speed and volume. Mm -hmm. You know, the values that are needed sometimes for, let's say, winning competitions when you are young are different from the ones that you need at an advanced level with the the euros are made of international teachers who look forward to many things, including speed and volume, but other things too. And that's something that very often when I teach Chinese students requires almost a transformation mm -hmm. in their values, their attitudes. From your point of view, how important is it for uh, pianists to be in those competitions besides winning prizes and also being heard by others? I think it's unfortunate that competitions have now, are now playing such an important role mm -hmm. because competitions are jurors. They have a special repertoire requirement. So very often a winner can be somebody who plays everything very well. It's liked by everybody, but maybe there's something that somebody else plays that is the greatest uh, show of personality. So when I am a juror in a competition, I have to balance the overall impression that one student might make on me, mm -hmm. or the impression that another student might make on me by f making me feel mm -hmm. I want to hear him again. Mm -hmm. Not playing everything, but playing certain things that are really special. How much should parents push their children? Because I don't think you know, every parent can, can make a lang lang in, in one day. Parents have to understand that if you have two children, and one goes to competitions and repeats the same pieces in every competition, he will not make it, or she. But if you have a parent who says, I want my child to learn as much as possible, and when she gets to be 20, instead of playing 10 pieces or 15 pieces, she knows 100 works. She has more culture, she's played more repertoire of all styles. So therefore, one has to be careful mm -hmm. that anything that makes a student keep repeating the same pieces for in order to win, they win when they are young, but they don't win when they are older. That's first-hand education. In terms of a bigger picture, uh, like musical schools, institutions, what kind of education would you hope to see? One important thing is that going abroad should be accompanied by the cultural environment of an important city. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is a great opportunity to advance your art. If you are in Paris, if you are in Vienna, if you are in Munich, if you are in London, if you are in New York. Uh, so a great consideration has to be given that they don't go abroad just to learn how to play the piano or any instrument better. They go for adding a lot of experience a lot of culture. You are widely acclaimed your profession, being called one of the world's most sought after artist teachers who has the amazing ability to develop piano students into artists. That's a big change in definition. Is this what you have always dreamed of doing in life? Not really. Uh, when I was uh, young, I had many interests, mm -hmm. and I thought about being an architect, being a medical student, until I fainted when I saw blood. And, but I always played the piano since a child, and uh, that was part of my, my goal, but as a performer. Mm -hmm. The circumstances in my life made me to be a teacher, and I'm very proud that that role I have great respect for, and I'm not ashamed at all to be a teacher instead of a performer. I understand that you have some injuries with your hands uh, some years ago, so you no longer play. Does that change your relationship with the piano? Not at all. When I uh, teach 
What I really want is for every student to develop their own personality. Mm -hmm. I think that many people have said that every one of my students was successful place differently. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very proud of that because uh, I don't have specific ideas as to any piece how it has to be interpreted. Sometimes when you are a performer, you are used to playing a piece and you feel this is the way it should be played. And then suddenly you hear a different performance and it bothers you. I'm not bothered by anything. I just find that the ultimate performance has to be a combination of the traditions established, the, what I feel are the intention of the composer, what the score says, and also what the uh, student brings. And, uh, and then I have to get that chemistry organized and I hope that the final output is the best. I wish you only the very best, Dr. Thank Nicholson. you so much. Well, thank you very much for sharing your music journey and wisdom with us today. Thank you.